Hello everybody, hope you're having an amazing day. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your CSC code in a Samsung phone. So first, what is a CSC code? A CSC code is a, is a carrier code that your device is assigned to. This varies by the state of origin for, of your device. Now, if you want to check this online, you can go to samfw.com. Then type in the, the, the model of your device. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showcasing a Galaxy A35 5G. So I type in A35. And this will, and this will automatically to show me all the versions. Mine is E. And now here, it will, it will show me all of the possible CSEs that my phone could have shipped with. But now, I'm going to show you on the device how to find out your current CSC. Hang on a moment. So first, you need to go to settings. And then go to the very bottom to about phone. Then here, go to software information. Here, as you can see on service provider software version, the, fir the first three letters are the one your device is assigned right now. Mine is THL. That, that would mean Thailand. The last one is SKZ or Kazakhstan in my case. This is the one that your phone that your phone shipped with. You cannot change this. But the THL one, the, the first and the second, you can change that. That will allow you to use different features of your of your phone. Thailand is I would is the one I would suggest people use because it also allows for color recording. If I go here, if I go to phone, I go here, settings. As you can see I have the option to record calls. There is a cheat sheet you can use, I'll have it linked in the description. It will give you all the CSC codes that allow this. Not every code allows color recording, most of them don't. But there are some like this one, Thailand. I know uh, also ILO Israel allows them, you, you can check the list if you want. But this is how you, you can tell what features your phone support. Now say you want to change it. First of all, Open a new tab and type in Sam FW tool. This is a this is a free software you can use to change it automatically for your from your PC. You do not need super user access. Scroll all the way down. Then, as you can see, you will have a direct download link here. Click on that and it will download it for you. Wait for it to be downloaded. Yeah, wait for that blue icon to change. There you go. Now open it. Run the app. Press run. Press yes here. You might get a pop up on your screen. It won't show on my one because the recording does not allow it. But just click yes. Press next. Next. Install. Now press finish. So you can check for updates. Now this might look a little bit scary, but don't worry. The, it's very simple to use. Now you need to do, enable developer options on your phone. To, to enable developer options, you need to go down, go to about phone, again software information, but tap seven times on the build number. I already, I already have it turned on, but once you click it seven times, you have to put in your lock screen option, wherever that would be password, pin, or a pattern. Then it will tell you developer options are enabled. Click on this. Now, scroll, scroll until you find USB debugging. This will automatically be off. You need to turn this on. It's going to give you a warning. Press OK. Now you need to plug your phone into your PC. Just plug it in via the U via USB cable. OK. Now, on the SAM firmware tool, just press MTP and change CSC. Right. You might get a request like this. Just press yes. Allow. Now this next step is very important. 
here is, is gonna is gonna ask you what CSE do you want. This is gonna show you all the CSEs your your phone has available to choose. So if I go back here, put it like this, you can see here. If I pop this list down, you can see all of the CSEs that are here. So not all of them, some of them. For example, MM1 is going to be here. And I can tell that MM1 is from Singapore, yeah? I'm going to change it to Singapore. So, my in my case, XP, uh, XPG. Do I even have XPG? No, I don't. It's an example of your of it just not it not being there. What you can use though, if, if you want to, VAU. I'm just getting a random one. And now press change. Your phone is going to open an app automatically and it's gonna ask you uh, which app do you want to use. I, already, I have two, I have two color and phone, so it's gonna ask me. You would probably won't, now press just once. Here you have to type in this, this code I'm typing here. Now press already open test mode. And now your phone is going to restart on the new CSC. Firmware. And I can check here in about phone. As you can see a lot more options showed, showed up here. For example, regulatory information was not there before. We got the software information and it also moved position. You can see I am on VAU instead of THL, yeah? So I got a new notification. But, as you can see, VAU will not, at least it should. As you can see here, I do not get an option for color recording, yeah? So this is an example where this would not be very useful because I, I do not have color recording right now. If I want that, I would have to go back to the SAM firmware app. So I'm just do that right now. Connect my phone to my PC. Allow USB debugging. Next thing I, ne I need to do. Back here, press change CSC. And I'm going to change it back to THL, which is Thailand. Now I'm going to press change. This once. Now I'm gonna type in the code again here. Now this is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop the recording now because the phone is going to restart. But this is everything you need to know on how to change your CSC code. This will not format your device. Also, you cannot uh, choose any CSCs out of the list the phone gave you. For example, you you can't just. For, I I can't just do this. For example. I can't just put in GTO there because I want to. I can only use uh, the ones the phone gave me. For example, GTO is not even listed here. If I type if I type that in, it will just reset to the default one your device came with. It, it would not work. That's everything you need to know. Hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.